falling short. You know, I got caught with a shot that I didn't see. You know, one that came from underneath. You know, uh, and and it, and it, was, it went from there. You know, uh, I guess I didn't make the count, but I appreciate everybody that came out. Everybody that's been a part of this event, um, from Earl Spence to TGB to you know uh, everybody, all you guys who are here as well. Um, I'll be back. You know, I'll be back better. You know, watch film, get better, grow. You know, and y'all to see me again. Hey Frank, what's up, man? Najee from Cigar Talk. What's up with you? What's going on, brother? Uh, okay. Congratulations, man, just even being here and, and fighting tough. Um, in the beginning of the fight, you know, you, you had it under control. You were moving well, using your jab. It felt like you won a lot of the early rounds. I will say maybe around five or six is when it started to feel like it took a turn. Can you tell me about that part, like what you remember, like when the momentum started kind of shifting for you? Just I, I got to chilling too much on the ropes, you know. Uh, Derek, that's one thing he's been talking to me about and uh, training camp for a while, you know, not getting comfortable on the ropes, you know, not chilling on them, you know, just because I feel like, you know, I can catch shots and this and that, you know, I just feel like <clears throat> I just, I was on the ropes too much, you know, I had started just chilling on the ropes too much, bouncing off of them and stuff. Okay, and quick follow-up, um, a lot's been made about Tank's power. How was his power to you? Was it really, like, devastating power? I mean, he got power, you know what I mean, but it's more like he, he got a, he do a great job at landing this big shot, you know. He know how to land that shot, you know. Uh, hit guys on the button and just get him up out of there, you know, because he, cause he an acro puncher and he, you know, he just know how to land that shot. Frank, uh, just a question. You did as well against him as just about anybody that's ever fought against him and you still end up getting knocked out. What do you think, what kind of performance does it take, what kind of fighter would it take to end up beating Gervonta? You said what type of fighter? Yeah. I mean... You just gotta, you just gotta go in there and box. You gotta be able to box, you know, and and just watch all the shots, you know, because he got them shots that if you don't see him, you know, he can get you out, and he and he's sneaky with it, you know. He can take a punch, he can give a punch too. So it's just like just being woke with him. You gotta be woke in there. I've been saying that like the whole time leading up to this fight. You know, you gotta be woke, <clears throat> and I got caught with a shot not being woke. So Frank Shea, in front of you. I was wondering, when you got to the ring, and you, you know, your first time in front of that kind of big crowd, big event, I mean, you've handled the promotion, it seemed to me, very, very well. I wanted to know, like, what were you feeling when you got into the ring? Did it take you a little bit of time to sort of catch your breath, sort of, because of the magnitude of the event? Or did you nah, feel like you handled it very well? No, nah, I feel like I handled, you know, the lights, the people, you know, and the crowd and stuff. I felt like I didn't let that <clears throat> throw me off of my game plan. You know, I was focused, you know, once I was in the ring, everything else was just kind of like, you know, like, I was tunnel vision while I was in the ring. So, like, when I went out there, it was just, you know, I was locked in on him. You know, I wasn't too much worried about the crowd or nothing like that, you know, because I came to, you know, get the win, but I came up short. Frank, Cynthia Gondé, Best Women's Boxing Show, Pierre, congratulations. We've talked a lot about Tank's power, but a lot of people don't realize, obviously, Tank has very good boxing skills. What did you think of his skills in the ring and, obviously, the traps that he was setting with the skills? Uh, he, he got good traps, you know, he got good setups, good traps, you know, it was, it was certain, like the trap that I got caught with was one that we knew that could possibly happen, you know, and I was just too comfortable and he, and you know, he landed that up on me <clears throat> and I didn't see it, you know, just by being on the ropes, but he a slick guy, you know, he could box, he could punch, you know, he can really, you know, he, he adaptable, you know, I feel like Tank can adapt to a lot of different styles, you know, he got the experience. Frank, right here. Liliana, Fortigana Boxing, how are you? Congratulations on your performance. You're very sharp tonight. Do you feel like you were one of the best opponents that he's had so far, if not the best opponent that he has so far? I feel like I ain't really get to, I ain't really get to show it. I ain't, I ain't get to show it. You know, when me getting caught with that shot, I ain't get to even catch my second win or nothing, you know, so I ain't really get to bring nothing else out, you know. Um, I feel like I went in and fought, you know, a good fight. I wasn't expecting to not come out with the W, but you know, it happened like that sometime. Hey Frank, uh, congratulations for coming up and you know, having a, a great show and a lot of people had you winning early in the rounds. Um, this is for you and Derek, what was the game plan going into the fight? And did you feel that looking back, what could you have done better to kind of maybe had a better result? Man, I honestly kind of, I, I got away from the game plan in a way, you know, by 
being on the ropes too much and you know uh, that wasn't a part of the game plan that was a part that you know Derek didn't want me doing you know he wanted me off the ropes he ain't want me just chilling on the ropes and catching punches and, and, and getting comfortable so that damn show wasn't a part of the game plan right there it was just you know me being in there not saying that I wasn't listening but I was trying to I was trying to see something while I was on the ropes and you know I just wasn't able to find what I was looking for.